Apology Gallery started by Paul Fernandez takes you back in time to Bangalore in the 70s. The moment you step in, you feel as though you are transported back to your college days. Illustrations adorn the walls and shelves in the form of posters, books and mugs. Cardboard cutouts of a policeman and violinist are found in the corners of the room. There are moments they feel almost real with their transfixed gaze on you. Growing up, art was always Paul's passion. He would sketch out and illustrate people who he found to have a fascinating persona. Well, I grew up here and uh, Bangalore has a very, very uh, warm part of my heart. And it's also a great place, a great way to get to know your city. So that's why I chose to draw it. Uh, no training as a child. I went to art college. But there was a point, I, I think I, as a child, I drew a Hindi teacher in school. And uh, that's probably where it all started. Using watercolour primarily as the medium of all his work, he finds it to be a challenging process. He feels gratified working with one of the hardest painting techniques one needs to master in order to be an artist. Paul believes that his work epitomizes his life experiences and we are able to see that. I wouldn't say there's one subject of inspiration. I'd, I'd say it's, it's uh, the, the subject of humour is the inspiration and it could be in many directions or it could involve many kinds of people and things. Ever wonder why Paul is able to capture things one would overlook on the street? The first thing I do is don't go in the car. I ride my cycle and I see much more than most people because I'm on a cycle. <laughs> Being an artist and having to run a business can interfere with one's creative side. Along with setting up a gallery, there are a lot of struggles and challenges to be faced. In the beginning, it was uh, wonderful to see something you've drawn uh, be marketed and sold. But as time goes on, you get a little more serious about, about the, the actual work and you try and separate the two. Uh, my wife, Renu, and our son, Tarun, is, uh, have joined me in this work and uh, they've changed the, they made it a lovely place. Uh, I've been working a lot in Bombay, in Goa, in Mangalore. And I have other plans too for places that I really feel for and, and love so much. Would your mantra be for young startups to grow and evolve? I'd say go global, think global on day one, go global and look at which are the countries which have the longest track record of building global businesses. Having been trained in NYC, her experience gave her the edge to create her own company.